Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 19th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we had quite a bull run last week with a just buy, 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 pushing the markets to new record highs and continuing to extend these indexes higher. However, this morning we see just a little tiny bit of bearishness in the futures price action. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle in, buckle up, get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. Hey, I want to say, um, I hope, hope, you know, welcome to the week, but I hope you all had a fantastic weekend, got some good rest, and we're ready for another wild and crazy week um, as earnings season ramps up, and we're going to start getting lots and lots of earnings reports, and it's, it's just going to grow from here. So what does that mean? Well, how about we take a look at these technicals, see if we can get some ideas on how we might want to watch trade this market moving forward. First off, when we look at the Dow, I have to have to mention here that we are, let's pull this back, we are pretty darn extended off of this um, trend right here. But if we were to look at more of a current trend, drawing a line up here, we're not too bad in the Dow. Although these point moves are really substantial. Remember, um, it wouldn't take much to have a 500 point pullback and that wouldn't even change the technicals of the chart. So just kind of keep that in mind as you buy up stocks or think about buying stocks that any kind of a stumble in this market could be a little bit painful. So one thing you might want to consider is taking smaller than normal positions because of these extreme moves that we're taking here in the market just to avoid that ugly or painful pullback if we were to stumble on any metric along the way. Let's take a look here. If we were to pull back into this level here, that could be a relatively painful pullback. And I'm gonna to go to the Dow to uh, demonstrate that from where we closed on Friday, if we were just to pull back to this level of price support right in here, that's a 387 point pullback. If we have to come down and test the lower side of that, notice that $608 pullback. And that would not change the trend at all. The trend would still be um, uh, completely intact in that pullback. So just that warning that we have to be a little bit careful. We don't wanna become complacent or over trade when we have a market stretched out like this. That doesn't mean that we can't go higher. There's absolutely nothing in this chart right here other than the extension that puts any worry at all that the bears are even um, out there doing anything. I think they went back into a, a spring hibernation here. There is just no bearish activity in here to speak of. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY actually gives me considerably more concern than the Dow. And that's just because we are so extended off of this short term move. Notice that if we were to pull back and test this level of price support, we're looking at about 190 points in the SPY if we were to pull back to there. Now I'm not suggesting that's going to happen, but we are extremely extended. And maybe one of the better things that we could be hoping for is that the market just finds a reason to rest or consolidate, do a little bit of resting and pulling back, but largely consolidate as we continue stretching up. However, what's happening is analysts have lowered earnings expectations so much that we're beating some of those earnings expectations by as much as 22%. So if that doesn't change, we've literally engineered this market higher. Now, let's be really, really clear. That doesn't mean that companies are earning more money than they were last year, even though we're pricing these companies much higher than they were last year. Um, just that our expectations have been lowered substantially in those earnings reports. And so that's really inspiring a lot of buying and maybe, um, uh, rushing 
into trade. So be kind of careful here. Just realize that we're very extended. We don't want, um, if we do stumble, this could be a really painful pullback. So make sure you're planning your risk very, very carefully and don't become complacent. Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ also in extremely extended condition in this short term. However, well, let's just draw that trend in this short term. However, we did break through this resistance up here and that puts in a little tiny level of price support in the chart. If we were to pull back into here and hold, that would be no big deal. Although it might be a little bit painful because that's a pretty substantial price pullback. But what worries me at this point is if we were to fail that level, uh, being as extended as we are, that could really bring in some bearish price activity um, into that QQQ. So watch that closely if that were to occur. However, the way we look right now, we're just continuing to be extremely bullish, continuing to push higher and higher um, in the market. Maybe a little rest or pullback is due, but with earnings inspiring so much buying, um, I'm not sure we're going to get a whole lot of pullback. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is actually the index that's struggling just a little bit. We um, have some resistance here in this chart that we cannot seem to quite breach through and we've been struggling Although the banks reported really, really good earnings, the financials really haven't picked up a whole lot. So that raises a little bit of concern here on um, IWM if those financials can't get going. And the oil sector stocks continue to fluctuate around having some trouble moving higher as well. So let's keep an eye on this. We have a bullish upside move here, but we're just kind of capped by some resistance in that chart. And if we were to fail down through here, we could really start to set up that downtrend. So watch that closely here in IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX continues to soften just a little tiny bit, but honestly, for the strength that we're seeing in the market, it seems a little bit odd that we haven't softened more than we are, but it is a good sign and it is a bullish sign that we have broken down. Let me put some lines on here. We have broken down below this support level that plagued us for a long, long time and we continue to drift south. So that is a good sign. That is a bullish sign for the market. Keep a close eye on that because we could spike off of this pretty early if the market finds some reason to stumble. Then let's take a look at our um, T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now this, this here has been kind of interesting in that we're just kind of floating around here. Although the market's been hitting new record highs, notice we haven't been spiking up um, like you would expect here in T2122. What that means is, is there are more stocks kind of going sideways to down than there are moving up right now. And that's why we've just kind of had just a little tiny lift here in this chart. Now keep in mind, we still have some upside opportunity here before we extend this out to um, kind of that ridiculous point here um, in the market. But also, um, realizing that the futures are pointing to a lower open this morning. If we were to get a profit taking wave coming in, we could certainly see a significant pullback um, in the market if that were to begin. So watch that pretty closely. And then if we take a look at T2101, I got to tell you, this still is a little bit baffling to me, guys. We continue to set new record highs in the market, but our absolute breadth indicator continues to decline in this downtrend. And we have been sinking as we've been making these new record highs. Now, one of the reasons that can be the case is because we've been pushing hard in the big techs. Now, keep in mind, it's basically seven companies that make up over 40% or about 40% of the S&P 500. If we can push seven companies higher, then we can keep the indexes floating to the upside, even though a lot of companies may be going sideways or pulling back. So just keep that in mind. The danger in that is if those big techs 
decide to turn and we could sink really really hard really really fast if that were the case so don't become complacent stay on your toes and stay focused um, in this market because we could see um, some painful painful days if we do happen to find reason to stumble however if the earnings continue to come out this strong we may continue to just press this market higher and higher and higher let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and I got to tell you we have virtually nothing to worry about here on that economic calendar for this morning take a look here we've got three month and six month bond auctions um, those haven't really been a major problem the short-term bond auctions so no big worries there keep a close eye on that we have a very light week on the economic calendar this week so it's going to be all about earnings uh, this week let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar now on our earnings calendar we have a rather busy day but not that many notables here this morning but that's going to continue to ramp up one thing i want to remind everyone that um, as we progress it's going to get more and more notables that will be um, showing up on my morning blog and if you want to see that all you have to do is click the link right below the title of the video and um, you will be able to um, catch those full notables and keep in mind that as we ramp up I won't be able to cover them all let's take a look at some of the stocks that we might want to be paying attention to this morning though um, ACC um, will be reporting today um, right now not doing a whole lot here in ACC in a real modest consolidation, slightly upturned um, rally here, but keep a close eye on that as this reports. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coke has already reported this morning and it's surging higher at the moment, pushing back up here toward these highs. Notice we have some highs right here in this chart and a little bit of a congestion area there, but boy, Coke has been performing very, very bullishly here recently and uh, blowing past those earnings reports we may continue on higher now i would suggest not to chase this because our stop on this would be a little bit low but um, any rest or pullback in here toward the trend sets up a pretty good opportunity so keep an eye on uh, coca-cola um, we will also hear from hxl today hxl will be reporting keep a close eye on that we're going to hear from ibm now ibm has been rallying and we have an interesting pattern here on ibm notice that we've broken this really long-term downtrend in ibm and we've held it here as support so if we can get a good earnings report out of this there is that opportunity that this could uh, maybe become bullish and really start pressing up off of that um, downtrend break so watch that one closely um, mtb mtb will be reporting today looks like they may have disappointed this morning pushing a little bit lower we have a little tiny downtrend uh, possibly setting up here in this chart although we have some price support that could hold it we'll want to keep an eye on that in mtb plc plc I must have I'm gonna to have to check that out guys I think I've got an uh, incorrect ticker take a look at steel dynamics um, steel dynamics is one that I've been watching for a potential trade and once we get past this earnings report there may be an interesting pattern here notice we have this nice little consolidation watch that closely for that opportunity that that may pop on through to the upside let's take a look at United Airlines UAL UAL will be reporting today now we know these airlines have been running running up pretty significantly but take a look at UAL we're in this wedging pattern where we really have that potential we could go either direction if that earnings report is good enough we could find that inspiration to push on through if they happen to disappoint notice we could break that that wedge to the downside so watch that closely as we continue to build through this uh, wedging pattern and last but not least on that i have on the list today is zion zion bank we'll want to keep an eye on that we know the banks have been doing a pretty good job on earnings but they haven't been getting a lot of price follow through after their earnings report so watch that closely let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please 
um, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone um, who has been doing that. A channel, um, we went up over 19,000 and we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers. How amazing is that, that there's that many people out there interested in this kind of content? I want to say thank you to every one of those. Honestly, this humbles me every single day when I look at those numbers and and I truly truly appreciate the support of the effort um, I put in to put these uh, videos out thank you so much and if you find these videos to be worthy please do me a favor click that thumbs up button leave that brief comment that helps us to continue to grow and a huge shout out to those folks that are utilizing the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video supporting the channel that way means the world to me thank you so much everyone your kindness um, overwhelms me I, I am truly truly um, appreciative of um, everyone. Let's take a look at um, the stock setting up and remember that none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell a security. However, I think um, there are a lot of stocks that you might wanna put on a list and consider. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence. Never ever blindly follow anyone's trade idea. Let's take a look at Kroger. Kroger is in an interesting pattern here. Notice that we've been in a rally and we know um, food food related stocks have been very, very strong here uh, over the last couple, three weeks. And uh, notice that we broke through a pretty significant level here in Kroger. Now we hit some resistance in that chart and we pulled back, but notice that we have a very nice controlled pullback in this chart. And as we slide back toward this support and this trend in here, I wanna be watching for that opportunity. If we can find that inspiration, that Kroger could per perk on up and really start to move higher here, um, breaking through that resistance high. So keep a close eye on that. Interesting chart. PHM, Pulte Homes, we're seeing a surge here um, this week, or last week we saw a little surge on Friday, and it's trying to follow through this morning. PHM trying to push up. You might wanna check some of those builders right now. Some pretty good, um, pretty good results showing up in these charts. PHM looking good and trying to push higher. As you can see in the pre-market, we're trying to follow through and may um, actually breach through my alert there in the chart. Let's take a look at ACN. ACN um, looks like it's popping and dropping here this morning. We had a good surge first thing this morning and we're pulling back, but let's keep a close eye on this. ACN breaking through some resistance here, as you can see, we rested right there, rested over toward trend. Watch for that opportunity that that may start perking up here to the upside. You might wanna take a look at DLX. Now DLX, probably going to regret that I did not buy this on Friday. I chose not to buy it on Friday just because of the craziness um, in the market and the way we're so extended. But, and I, I, I honestly am more of a seller on Friday than I am a buyer. But looking at this chart, what a beautiful little, after breaking through this resistance, rested up here beautifully, popped here on Friday, broke that alert. Now with a little tiny bit of bearishness that we have this morning in the market, it's possible that this could just rest right in here or even pull back a little bit toward that trend. But keep a close eye on DLX. It's a nice looking chart and could be setting up very, very well um, for someone looking for a trade. Let's take a look at Dish Network. Dish Network is another one of those, those beautiful little consolidations after a major breakout here in price. Notice we broke through that resistance and we're just kind of camping out here. The one thing I see that's pretty notable in this chart is right now the buyers and sellers really agree on price. Look how tight this consolidation is. All we need is to find that little bit of inspiration here to maybe perk that up. And if it starts to break through, that will attract a lot more buyers. So watch that closely on DISH, looking very, very good. Might wanna take a look at SWKS. Now SWKS looks like we're getting a little pop and drop on that this morning as well. SWKS has been um, rallying nicely here. Notice we broke this little downtrend rally back through this level, now holding it as a price support, that's a nice sign to see in the chart. 
And notice we're just kind of consolidating over here on this. We may have to consolidate for a while to consolidate out here to, toward trend, but let's watch that closely. Um, if we can find that inspiration here in Skyworks, we could push right on higher. How about we take a look at Foot Locker? Foot Locker is setting up nicely here. Notice we have a nice little resting consolidation pattern here coming out here to contact this trend. Notice how many times we've tried to um, push back into that trend and that's where we find that inspiration higher. However, we have a little bit of a hang up here on this chart and that is this longer term resistance back here is what's putting a cap on this right now. So watch that close. If we can find that inspiration, we could just push right on through if those bulls continue to just kind of ignore most of everything and just buy, buy, buy. So watch that, it's looking pretty good. You might wanna take a look at post. Now, they don't get much more old and boring and stodgy as uh, post, um, but I gotta tell you, post and some of these really boring old companies are looking extremely good. Post looking great, another packaged food surging through my alert here, as you can see. Now we could get a little rest or pull back with the bearishness in the market this morning, but watch that closely. If we slide on back over here toward that trend, there may be that opportunity here in post. Keep a close eye on it, it's looking pretty darn good overall. I mentioned Steel Dynamics. Now, Steel is gonna report, and this is gonna report today, keep a close eye on that, but at the same time, you might wanna be keeping an eye on MT. Now, I have a bias here, um, I'm already along MT, and MT is working out okay, but let's keep an eye on this. Steel Dynamics earnings report could affect this, and there's been a lot of anticipation um, of um, uh, that infrastructure bill moving along. So keep a close eye on that. Um, steel could really do quite well. Let's take a look at some other metals. Take a look at Alcoa. My goodness, Alcoa broke through my alert, just continued to surge on Friday. Notice right in here, we our current trend, we may be just a little bit extended away from that. With the bearishness that we're seeing in the market this morning in the pre-market, watch this, a little bit of rest or pullback may not be out of the question, but watch that closely. Alcoa could extend on higher. We should take a look at um, FCX Copper. Also with that infrastructure idea, copper is going to be in heavy demand if that does occur. And notice here, let me just move a line. If we move this up here, we're really trying to breach through all time highs here in FCX. And you can see in the pre-market, we are trying to push higher. Now, once again, I wanna caution everyone about chasing something that's doing that. What I'd like to see is more of a rest or a consolidation, a pullback, something in here that brings us back over here to trend before before I pick that up. Right now, it would be kind of a steep drop to any uh, stop loss area. So watch that closely on FCX. Um, looking pretty good to the upside. Now, a couple things I'm gonna have to mention. Um, take a look at silver, guys. Now, silver has had a nice little rally here recently. We're starting to perk up. Notice that we're still challenged by the 50-day moving average, and we could fail here. We could easily fail here and pull back. But I think it's worth keeping an eye on um, some of these precious metals. I'm also gonna mention GLD. Now, GLD is doing a better job at the moment than silver. Notice that we've already broken through that uh, downtrend um, in that 50-day moving average. So keep a close eye on that. This is a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout. Now that rounded bottom breakout is a very, very powerful pattern where we see we break above that 50-day moving average or shorter term moving averages cross through. They're kind of rounding over, providing that level of price support out here in the chart. So now any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity. And I gotta tell you, the target in a rounded bottom breakout, uh, once we break and hold that 50 is up here toward that 200 day moving average. So keep a close eye on that. Um, GLD is setting up. I would watch that closely. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Keep in mind that the futures are pointing to a little bit of a lower open, but with all of the inspiration of earnings, we could push on higher. 
Don't become complacent. Be really, really careful. Calculate your risk carefully. We're in a very extended market condition, which means any pullback could be quite painful. So maybe size down those positions a little bit. Make sure when you have profits, take them quickly. Y'all take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.